worship your holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I worship your holy name. Worship your holy name. I worship your holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I worship your holy name. Jesus, I will. I worship your holy name. Worship your holy name. Hallelujah. Would you give the Lord a hand clap of praise for that in the house of the Lord this morning? Have you thought about all the reasons you have today that you can worship the Lord? 10,000 plus, I believe. If we were to sit down and begin to list them out, we would find that God has been good to his people. Amen. Take a moment and greet those around you this morning before you're seated. What a joy it is to have you in the house of the Lord this morning. After you finish greeting, grab a choir member. Bring them on to the choir with you. Let's continue to worship together in the house of the Lord this morning. given the Lord praise, honor, and glory this week. Amen. Truly, he has been good to us. Page number 184 in your red back book simply says, he abides. Are you glad Jesus abides with you this morning? Amen. Let's sing it. 184.
Praise for that in this house this morning. Are you thankful that the Holy Ghost abides with us this morning? Are you thankful the Spirit of God still rests upon His people? Amen. Hallelujah this morning. I got plenty happy over there this morning. I was thinking I'm going to preach you maybe in just a little bit, you know, and I'm looking for Jesus to come, and I'm thankful the Holy Ghost is here with us. Amen. I think for the comfort that is still helping us. I think for I'm not having to walk in it all by myself, but he abides with his people this morning. Amen. Give the Lord another hand of the grace for that. all of our children, the children church this morning. don't feel him and it seems like all things is going south he still abides if you have believe and have faith in him it's not that things are going so well that makes you know that he's there but when things don't go so well and you still have hope and that hope is in Christ Jesus amen 
welcome each one and those are joining us by the internet but uh, also to thank the ones for last night that brought sandwiches and we had a good time at our prime timers and uh, had a good movie we had movie night out and a very interesting movie and knowing that Jesus is still alive and still well so thank you for that and as we prepare to coming up to our Thanksgiving time at, uh, just next month did you realize that Christmas is about nine Fridays away have you thought about it think about it just nine yeah, but uh, as we think about Thanksgiving, I want to uh, mention to you as we normally do uh, this time of year as we celebrate Christmas to the church here. Uh, we have uh, Brother David, one of the elders, uh, David Holly, uh, Memorial Thanksgiving giveaway, and we give away dinners, complete uh, dinners for Thanksgiving this year we'd like to try to get at least 30 to give away and i've talked to the seniors and we'll be doing that the 21st i believe the saturday before thanksgiving and if you'd like to help us out on that uh, i figured uh, between i think 20 or 25 dollars sister holly per uh, complete meal and that includes uh, the turkey and all the trimmings everything and if you'd like to help us and donate that, and uh, you can just write the check or put the money in the envelope at uh, David Holly Memorial Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving uh, food, you know, whatever, and uh, put it in the envelope in the church, and uh, it'll go into the treasure. Then we'll go buy all the things. So whatever you can do to help us, we'll appreciate that so very much, and there'll be more coming uh, about that. Let's not forget that this Monday evening at 7 o'clock, our business meeting, if you support the church and you uh, come, we would like to invite you to come to hear the updates of how everything is going in the church and a praise team practice. And uh, the women's discipleship is, I believe, Thursday, 7 o'clock. Then men's breakfast at this coming this coming Saturday at 8 o'clock. So, and a lot of good things that are happening. Fall festivals coming up. But I don't know about you, but I'm enjoying this beautiful weather. And if we could just keep it a year round, I'd be so happy to have that. So, get in, get your bulletin, get involved. There's a lot of things coming up. The fall festival, and Pastor mentioned more of what's happening, but. Uh, just get involved and be a part of the ministry, and I know the Lord will bless you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor Renfro. Do you love the Lord this morning? Amen. It was a little chilly yesterday morning. We were up in North Florida, and it just felt nice to be out and about, amen, as we were thankful for this season that we're in. Let me take just a moment and say thank you. Uh, for the wonderful things that you have done to help make homecoming last weekend what it was. Did we not have a grand old time last weekend? And uh, I'm still hearing good reports of all the wonderful things. And uh, the singing group, Brother Hewitt did a wonderful job. And your attendance and the food, oh my goodness, the food. Uh, they had to haul barrels of food out of here after all of us ate. 142 of us last Sunday morning gathered to celebrate. And this is the first Sunday of our 61st year amen i thought about that yesterday as we were driving home and preparing getting my mind ready for sunday i said lord uh, we finished 60 years theoretically we celebrated 60 years so we're in sunday one of what is now our 61st year and i wanted the lord to do greater things this year than he's ever done before and he'll do that if we'll be sensitive to him and be ready to receive from him and i'm hoping that you'll do that today and throughout this entire year pastor mentioned thanksgiving we've also got he mentioned fall festival we need your candy we're going to load the kids up on sugar that night send them home and so individually wrap candy if you'll bring it put it in the box in the foyer we are emptying that box out um, throughout the week and putting it over in the main office so uh, don't worry if your candy goes missing it's probably over in the office amen trying to keep it stored safely there and uh, i mentioned wednesday night we had a chocolate bandit last year that came through and and uh, took some chocolate from us. 
uh, told on themselves, left a note and everything, and said, I just couldn't wait till the fall festival, and um, here's what's left. Amen. So uh, help us out. We, we, if we could get you to help us with that, uh, extra uh, 8 or 9 or $10 when you go and buy groceries and grab a bag of candy, that would uh, help us from having to go out and buy loads and loads and loads of candy. I will tell you, we've got Dunk Tank and Obstacle Course and Bounce House and uh, the Okoye Prison is coming back again and uh, hot dogs and nachos and all those things that they do. We're going to be splitting it again with our school and hopefully making it a wonderful outreach event. And uh, so we're looking forward to just having a wonderful time that Friday night. And uh, that's the same weekend that time changes. So we'll have Friday night. Saturday night, we'll get to set the clock back an hour and make up for whatever sleep you lose Friday night. Amen. So a time change is different this year, but make sure you grab your bulletin. And uh, looking forward to getting through the fall festival, looking forward to getting on into November, looking forward to revival with Brother Lamar Chapman. Uh, he just blessed us last time he was with us, and I'm trusting it will all work out. He'll get to be back with us again as scheduled this year. Good to have Brother Hanks home. Uh, they that he, he came from halfway around the world to be in church with us this morning. Amen. I, I was talking to Wendy before service, and I saw that Brother Carl got home early this morning back to Live Oak, and he's preaching this morning. And I thought, well, somebody didn't schedule real well. I mean, he must have had a, he's preached all week, I think. And so he's preaching again this morning. I told Sister Wendy, I said, I don't know if Brother Hanks will make it in this morning or not. I mean, they were halfway around the world. It took him about a day and a half to get home. And I said, uh, he may try to catch up. And I look up, and he's in the house of the Lord. Amen. Are you glad to see Papa Hanks in the house of the Lord this morning? Good to have you home. And uh, prayed for you, prayed for the team, and I know you had a great time. Looking forward to hearing an update on that very soon. And uh, we're thankful for all the wonderful things that are happening. Pastor mentioned the events of this week, business meeting, praise team, prayer meeting, church, uh, spirit life on Thursday night, Bible study on Thursday night for our women. Uh, he mentioned men's breakfast. I think there's youth choir practice next Saturday night. Youth choir will be singing tonight. And uh, so just so excited to be a part of what God is doing. We had a wonderful weekend. Uh, we took our staff away on Saturday, our school staff, for a teacher's conference. And hopefully they came back energized and ready to pour into hearts and lives of children again. And then we took about three or four hours yesterday before we headed home. And, and uh, we just toured the oldest continually running city here in the country, St. Augustine. And we had a wonderful time and just time of fellowship. And uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I feel good in my body this morning. I hope they feel rested and ready to seize the week as the Lord has put uh, us in the privilege and the opportunity that we have to pour into the lives of children. Don't forget about prayer tonight at 530. And I know God's able to help us. I'm going to ask the ushers, if they would, to get ready to wait upon you, give you an opportunity to worship with your giving this morning. While you're doing that, we've already dismissed our children out to Children's Church for the last several weeks. We've allowed them or had them come into the main building uh, to be a part of the main worship and then dismissing them out uh, about the midway through. We're going to continue to do that for the next uh, uh, foreseen future. And uh, Sister Tagan has helped us. Sister Christy helped us a little bit in transition. Sister Tagan's helped us the last several weeks and she'll be keeping that for a little bit and so uh, I'm excited about some of the projects they're doing but both Sister Christy and Sister Tegan some of the uh, crafts they've done some of the but when my daughter comes home and tells me what they learned in children's church I don't care if it's uh, Pastor Shelley teaching it or Sister Shannon teaching it or Sister Conger who's teaching it when they come home can tell you what they learned that's what it's about amen I want to know that they're having the Bible poured into them uh, and they can sit right here and get the Bible too um, I, I, I'm okay with Children's Church. I attended Children's Church a few years ago, and um, but it has to be, uh, it's not just a party. It's not just a free time. It's a time where they get to learn the Word of the Lord at their level, and I'm thankful for that. Pray for them. And I think Hannah's helping her out on Sunday mornings for a while, so be praying. we got a lot of kids that are growing up, and I don't know that I like that, but there ain't a whole lot we can do about it except use them for the kingdom of God. Amen. And we're going to do our very best to do that. Our sound root booth this morning is being staffed by teenagers, boys, 14-year-old boys. Can you believe that? We got boys doing sound systems and girls doing music and boys doing boys and girls doing things. And I, parents, you should be proud of what God has given us. And uh, let's not quit praying for them. Let's not give up on them. 
Let's pray and push and, and fast for them that God will strengthen them in their walk. Ushers will serve you from the rear of the building. Let's give of our tithes and our offerings to him. On this first day of a 61st year, let's give a good offering to the Lord this morning. God bless you as you give. Father, we thank you this morning for the privilege we've had to give of our tithes and of our offerings. Pray you'll bless every gift. Lord, just take it and multiply it, Lord, for the needs of the ministry. Touch our families. Bless those Lord, families that have brought their tithes into the storehouse. Take that remaining. Multiply it. Bless it, Lord. Let it meet the needs of their families. And let us continue to be a light to this community. We'll give you the praise, the honor, and the glory for it. In the name of Christ, we pray. And everybody said amen and amen. Worship with Sister Tanya. She sings this morning. Sorry, I changed my song on Sister Wendy this morning, so forgive us, but just find me. High upon the mountain of transfiguration, the angel of the Lord declared that it would be. He said, don't stand there grieving. For the one that you see leaving In like manner he's coming back for you and me High upon a mountain of transfiguration An angel of the Lord Declare that it would be He said don't stand there grieving For the one that you see leaving In like manner he's coming back For you and me And I believe he's coming back Like he said and I believe that the trumpet's gonna sound so loud One day it'll raise the dead In the twinkling of an eye He'll split the eastern sky And I believe he's coming back like he said I believe the time is nearing We'll soon see His appearing Oh, this could be the hour Oh, this could be the day When the saints of every nation Will lose their gravitation In the middle of the air Be called away And 
I believe he's coming back like he said And I believe that the trumpet's gonna sound so loud One day to wake the dead In the twinkling of an eye 